Hello and welcome to Brockwell Lane and here is a unboxing, uh, sort of a review of the Titfield Thunderbolt buffet car in double O gauge. I say this a lot but this is one I've been waiting for for quite a while. These were just out this week and it was this I was interested in rather than the Lion uh, train pack because I always liked the 14XX uh, when it used to pull this little coach, a uh, cattle truck and um, a towed brake van, like that one there, or well, that is it actually at Mallingford, which is the imaginary terminus station. It's an interesting little coach, as you can see, it barely comes up to the um, the, the coal area on the uh, 14XX, the bunker I should say, and even the towed brake van towers above it. This carriage used to fascinate me as a child because I didn't know what it was. It was such a strange little thing. Um, but it's actually um, uh, the Wisbeach, an old tramway coach, um, very old coach, um, which they are doing that version as well. But this was used for the film, and it's never been available as in model form, and you couldn't really replicate it, and I tried over the years. But finally we have a model from Rapido. So a nice little box here. Uh, it's come with a, some outer plastic on it. It comes from Hatton's, this particular one, um, because they seem to have had them first, uh, well, as far as I could find out anyway, so there's the part number. We'll get this plastic off and have a look. As boxes go, it's a very good one, it's a nice sturdy one, um, but don't really care too much about the box. So uh, there we go, inside is the usual style of packaging, as everybody seems to use now, with this plastic shell. It was very tight inside that box, I had no chance of getting that off with one hand and holding the camera at the same time. Um, it's quite a bit smaller than maybe I imagined it might have been, although looking at that photo that's not surprising really. Um, so we have got an instruction booklet there, or an owner's manual. I don't know, read this first, okay. Well, it is a coach, it can't be that complicated. Um, well, we'll have a look at that later. So right, let's get this out. And almost, it's almost like a HOM size coach. It's very small. There we go. Now this film was done in technical and it was always difficult to figure out exactly what colours things were. Um, I think it was, well you can't really tell. I think well, I always thought it was grey, although it has got a bit of a blue tinge to it. Um, I think on film these red panels look a little bit darker, but it looks fine. So this is a bogey coach, got metal wheels, it's got, it seems to have a lot of detail underneath. Uh, sweet little bogeys, very close together wheels, almost like an American style. In fact, it's very American style because of these balconies at the end. Um, so a lot of these seem to be plastic. It's not terribly heavy. Um, it's slightly flimsy on the top there, but uh, and you can see through the window there. That's the barrel because this was the bar car. So it does come with a few pipes and air tanks to fit in case you're. I think if you're not fitting the tension lock couplers, um, although hmm, I have to read the instructions there because there does seem to be some there anyway. So maybe they're alternative ones for some reason. Um, but very nice little coach. I've actually noticed there is some little lamps there, whether they're fake ones, lights on the balconies. I imagine they must be because I didn't see it as being listed with lighting. And the roof does come off, so you can detail the interior, which I think I might do, actually. I might get some figures. Um, you see the bar there, which is nicely detailed. And that barrel on the end, if you've seen the film, you know about that. Uh, I think that's the uh, seat which the... Um, I forget his, uh, his name, but he's uh, the financer of the railway used to sit next to that barrel in the corner there. And the roof, I think these are hand... Uh, like you get in a bus, uh, passengers would hold on to these, what do they call straps from the ceiling. 
Uh, I think they were. Uh, so you've got two bench sheets, seats either side in this same blue colour. And uh, on the roof we do, I don't think, the, well I know these don't work, but they're very nice representations of uh, the lighting. It was a bit difficult to get the roof off, but um, if you're struggling, you just need to, well I got a knife in there and just pulled the edge of the coach forward a little bit just so you could release it. It's even very tight. You probably won't get it off if you're just trying to pull it upwards. You just need to ease, put something down there and ease it out a little bit. So we have the tension locks uh, fitted, which I'll be replacing with KDs. Um, but uh, there is a little walkway which uh, comes down. That's to go between coaches if you've got two of them coupled together. I think most of the time they would be well, when used as a single coach, they'd probably be in the stored position. But, yeah, you said nice little coach. It was a bit expensive, but there again, what isn't nowadays? And it does say buffet bar on that end. It's a very unusual coach, and I suppose you pay for that. And there's also licensing to go to Studio Canal, who own the film. But as I said, I don't think I'll be getting um, any of those. Possibly the coach, the the road coach, the Bedford OB that's coming out. Um, but as I said before, I prefer, or I always liked the 14XX pulling this particular coach. So I may well try and get a XDJ Models 14XX and replicate it. And uh, although it's not in that photo, it did run with a cattle wagon as well, which I think was a Great Western one painted grey which I might try and replicate as well, which might be fun. Um, yeah, the 14XX isn't actually currently available, I don't think, because it was a DJ Models one, uh, but Hatton's do own the to the tooling, and as I saw them a couple of years ago at Wally, I did suggest that they brought it out again, and they didn't say no, so hopefully they will do. And if they don't, maybe EFE would uh, uh, do a deal like they have with the uh, Kurnow Models and other DJ Models uh, locomotives and release it. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane. Please comment, subscribe and all those other things. Thank you very much and bye bye for now.